Hey, how's it going? This is Pradeep. Welcome back to my channel and you're watching Vlog of Note. So after what feels like years, Samsung is finally launching the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A10.1 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 in India. However, because of the way these things are priced, we need to talk about them now. Let's get started. So let's start with the biggest of them all, Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. It is being sold, link in the description on samsung.com for 39,999 rupees for the LTE version 4GB plus 64GB. There are three reasons why you should not buy this tablet apart from the price. The first is it gets rid of the headphone jack. I know people feel viscerally towards companies that get rid of the headphone jack. I don't see any reason why Samsung should do this on a tablet. The reason that people like the headphone jack is because it's fast, convenient and it's universal. I'm going to however link to the Razer Hammerhead USB-C ANC headphones in India which are retailing for 7,400 rupees. It's the closest you're going to get to a universal good audio source. The second reason is obviously the processor. The processor is a Snapdragon 670. To give you a sense of how underpowered this thing is, the Pixel 3a, the piece of garbage that Google just launched in India, well, that's rocking a Snapdragon 670 processor. I'm going to link in the description to the Geekbench scores of several Android phones. You'll find that the Snapdragon 670 scored 1,600. The third reason is the funniest. You remember a couple of years back, Apple got into a bunch of trouble because their iPhone would lose signal when it was held a particular way. They called it the antenna gate. Well, it turns out Samsung didn't learn from that mistake. So the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e, according to a report from Sam Mobile, link in the description, will lose Wi-Fi connection if you hold it in a particular way with a selfie camera on the left. Next, let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab A10.1. It's being sold in India for 19,999 rupees LTE version, link in the description for 2GB plus 32GB. There are three reasons again why you would not want to buy this tablet. The first is it's an LCD display. Samsung should not be selling LCD displays. They supply OLED displays to three-fourths of the known universe. Just place them next to each other and you'll immediately get convinced of which one you need to buy. The second reason is the 2GB of RAM. Samsung, this is 2019. The only thing that should have 2GB of RAM is a smartwatch. Forget about multitasking. If you open two apps continuously too quickly, they'll probably stutter on this tablet. The third reason is that there is no fingerprint sensor. This is 2019. Even Apple with their new iPad gives us a fingerprint sensor. What exactly is your game plan here, Samsung? Are you going to rely on your excellent Face ID system? The third tablet is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. We don't know the exact pricing of this one, but it's estimated to be about 10,000 rupees. And this one makes sense if it's 4G. I'm going to leave you with some thoughts about the Indian tablet market. According to a new report by CMR India, link in the description, the Indian 4G tablet market grew by 62% in the first quarter of 2019. Of this, Lenovo holds 29%, Samsung and Eyeball own 17% each, and Apple with their iPad owns only 9%. What's interesting though here is that the entire tablet market as a whole declined 11% quarter on quarter. Anyway, that's about it for this week's episode, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments on these new tablets from Samsung in the comment section down below. Subscribe to Vlog of Note on YouTube. Turn on notifications so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next one.